Okay, today we're at Whiskers Wine and Spirits. You know what that means. It's gonna be a lot of fun walking around this store. And they always have something interesting in here. Let's check them out. All right, my friends. It's one of my favorite OCD stores. So let's see what they got up here. Oh yeah, I like when they got these interesting combos of like Bushmills and company and you got the Balcones, the Texas Rye. Don't see much of this here. We see these two, but we don't see much of these. So I don't know. The Highland Skyline. And we got, oh, the Clan McGregor. Nice. Look at that good looking guy. A chicken you know what. All right, I'll we'll kind of go down through here as we normally do. I'll just kind of go and just uh, we'll see how things are set up here. Oh yeah, I wonder if those are a good combo. Look at that cute little belt. I hope he keeps his pants up. I'm gonna go slow. I am shooting in 4K. The prices are a little small, so I'm gonna need a little bit of help. I am looking for my next big bottle. I picked the the Knob Creek Nine. I couldn't go. I, you know, more votes for that. And basically, it was almost as much as uh, Elijah Craig. So I'm gonna put Elijah Craig up against something else. So I need, I need your, what do you think I should be getting for Elijah Craig, or uh, to go up against there to get the next big bottle? There's the Kalamut, Met. Got the old skin, the Contradiction, the Blade and the Bow. I'm just gonna go straight across. Uh, get our, get our stuff for Canadian Chris here, and see what we got. All right, let's see. Got quite a bit of Jameson here. I could get a big bottle of Jameson. I don't have one of those. So, uh, I want to say this is probably one of the best prices for Lagavulin 8 I've seen anywhere. So, if that's something you're interested in. Uh, this is also the store where I buy my Kilcoman Bay, which is one of the few places you can get this. And I got the other one at the Navy base. You can check that one out as well. So, um, going to get a big bottle of this. But that's not a, that's not what is up for today. What's up for today is going to be the uh, Elijah Craig versus to be determined. So just start putting down at the bottom what I should be getting on there. Uh, this one is a little bit different for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I don't know. That bottle looks different to me. I don't know why, but you have to tell me. Got the, I got the Buffalo Trace. Got the, that's the bottle I bought. Big old big boy. I don't see any dunkers. Some people have said Maker's Mark. Some people have said Bullet. I don't know about the. I've never had the rye. Is it minty? You don't have to tell me. So I do apologize. The prices are very small. Uh, I have a wild turkey this size. I, I'll wait till that's gone before I get a big boy of that. So the 101. Uh, see a little bit. Seen a little bit of that around here lately. Do I need a big bottle of uh, apple flavored whiskey? I don't know. Let's see here. Let right, me we'll go down here, and I think I'm going to try to hit another store. I'm not sure that I'll be able to, so this might be a semi-short video today, or it might be a long video. You have to wait till the end. Uh, got the old Dominic. Love these guys. They're local. Someone said to get the big larceny. I've not had much larceny, to be honest with you. Uh, hey, we did see some stag today. Uh, should I get, get the, there's old granddad. Still no old granddad. Wood 14. You would think as much as I harp on not being able to get it that they would just send it out here out of spite so I uh, got the Sazerac, got the blue note lots of blue note in here got the uh, bottle that they had to go to when they were out during uh, the C word another 2XO love the McAllen's got kind of a narrow space here so I kind of have to go out of my way so Kilcoman glad there's Still got four bottles of it over there. This is where I get mine. Uh, if you like a good PD farmed uh, bottle, they even you know they grow the grain, they blow the glass, they do everything on there. So you can't go wrong with that. And I just got the uh, the, the, the Sanga Sancta Sanga. I'm not sure, and it, it was just as good. So I'm, I'm I'm super happy with both of them. So all right, we got some of these down here. Like I said, I got to kind of walk kind of kind of low to get the bottom shelf stuff. Get all that. Wonderful fireball and dickle on the bottom shelf. Where it belongs. See, I think this is one of the few places that has Sagamore Rye in town. I think it has all of them, so I'll kind of get a little bit closer in there. Uh, I've got some samples that I just found last night when I was unpacking. I got from uh, Drifting Drams. I've got to go through and try all of those. So, all right, let's see. There's my dad's whiskey. 
I will get a big one of those, and Evan Williams as well. And uh, I will say, now's a good time to hit that like button. Hit it. Really does help. Comment, you, whether you like it or not like it. People are real quick to give me lots of feedback on that. So, and I, I appreciate that. So, if you, uh, it's amazing what happens when you comment on the videos. When you comment on them, it really just, the algorithm loves it and it pushes it out. And the algorithm is how YouTube decides what people will watch. So, I'm uh, about two or three people from uh, 4,800. Uh, I get to 5,000 and then my bar is done. I'll do a live from there on a Saturday and uh, we'll just kind of go through and kind of do a, a walkthrough of the bar. Uh, there is some of this. I'm just going to kind of do a quick pan over here. And I believe that they have a couple of other little things that I will uh, take a look at too. And like I said, I'm going to try to go to another store after this one and uh, see if we can't uh, see if we can't do both. Uh, or this could be an incredibly short video. So uh, nobody beats the bottles on tequila. They really don't. All right. Well, I'm going to get the I'm going to get the the their allocated stuff, and then uh, we'll see about going to another store. All right, and this is some of the allocated stuff they have. Uh, the Eagle Rare is 56. The uh, the little one is uh, 49. Yeah, she she won't then won't even talk on camera. She's just nodding. Uh, 89. 85. 85. Oh, and uh, this I can't remember, but it, I showed that at the prices over there. All right. Well, here we go. Whiskers, love this place. All right. Well, I told you it was going to be two stores today. This Cordova Liquor, Wine, and Spirit. Now they've not even been open two months yet, so I'm there. The shelves are a little bare, but they're getting there. They're doing stuff. Uh, I got these two lovely ladies here. They're going to wave. and Look at that. They wave and everything. <laughs> Nobody ever wants to be on camera. So, All right. I'm going to go through nice and slow. Kind of point out the things that they've got here. What I really like is there's no music here. And you can, you know, I can just kind of sit here and go nice and slow. Lots of, uh, lots of the Tennessee whiskey. And they got the Traveler here, which is nice. So. Got our McAllen and the Glen Levitt and the Tasker. I think the Tasker is something I'm probably that and the O'Bannon is something I'm really interested in. Got more stuff for Chris, Canadian Chris. Right, kind of go through here and kind of see. I love the way the store is laid out. It's wide open. They have a lot of space. It's got that new store smell. They've done a lot of really good work in here. Carpet and kind of just the way they're doing everything in here. Uh, Peach and salty caramel and peanut butter. Dirty monkey! Oh my goodness! I don't know how you, I don't know how you can live, live with yourself doing that at night. Right, we got some of the Penelope here. We got the Architect. We got this one. We got the Woodford Double Oak. We got the slightly bigger one. We got 1920, the 10. Looks like they got a lot of the knockoff birthday blend up here. We got four roses. I believe this could be the first short barrel that I've seen here in town that I pay attention to. So um, let me know if I've done it, if I've breezed over it or not. Uh, and let me know about short barrel. I've been hearing a lot of stuff about it. It seemed like there was a honey short barrel or something like that. Uh, I got this one here. I don't see any dunkers of the makers. Got the Brow Brothers or Bro Brothers. Right. I gotta go and reach down. Oh, too old for this. There's my dad's shoes. I, you know, it's a class act when they got this stuff here. Look at this fella. Jack Daniels, life size. All right, well, uh, you know, this is a g g g gross. This isn't that great either, to be honest with you. I'm not a fan of this. It's like they put all the stuff that doesn't taste very good right to by each other. Uh, got the small batch. I like the bottle. It's probably going to be one of the bigs that I put up against whatever somebody else votes on there. Uh, bottled and bond. Haven't had any of that yet. I think that this is Secret Willet. I could be wrong. A lot of the 2XO. Got the Green River. Look at those. Nice little belt there. Monk's Road. I 
think I've seen this either. Hmm. Long Still Distillery, Kissimmee, Kentucky. Hmm. Got to tell me if that's any good. Chicken, you know what? And the rye. Now let's talk about tonight. This is Friday. You know I shoot and, and post the same day. They're having a tequila tasting from 4 to, until 7. La Gratona, Raspado, and G4 Tequila. So um, this is the only place I've seen the mini. I'm 99% sure I grabbed that mini, but I don't know if I have. I have to come back and get one. I do have the smaller version of this bottle. And I, I like it. I've not tried it, but I like the bottle. So, uh, Dos Hombres, I'm pretty sure that's the Breaking Bad guys. I'm not sure they're part of that anymore. It's my lookalike, uh, my twin brothers. That's his tequila right there. Uh, all right, Casamigos, G4. All right, let's see. You got the Lalo. That might be the best price on the Lalo I've seen there. Uh, the Rosa Butterfly Canyon. Nice, good looking bottle there. And the Los Lobos. And Ghost Pepper. Uh, it burns you twice. And the Two Fingers. All right, well, I'm going to do a quick pass over here and kind of see if there's anything I need to see. I do like this store a lot. As I've said before, they're super friendly and super nice. And I am going to make sure that I didn't, they don't have any hidden alcohol anywhere. Like I said, shells are still a little bare, but they are definitely, oh, there we go. We got the old smoky. They're definitely working on getting stuff back here. Every time I come in here, there's a little bit more. So I'm just trying to promote the store. They have a brand new ownership and they're, you know, I think they're doing things right. They're taking their time. They're, you know, not filling the store with junk. They're getting things as they can go. I didn't do rum at the last one, so. Got the crack in there. And Tokyo Nights, Japanese rum. Have not seen that. So anybody, any of our rum fellas, tell me what they think about that. And then, I do want to point this out. Um, this is the only one of the few places I've seen that has this bottle right here, which I think is super cool. Um, I just love that little bottle, so. All right, well, come out tonight and taste and try their tasting and uh, mention my name, and they'll be like, I have no idea who you're talking about, but thanks for coming. And uh, all right, it's lunch, my friends. I was on my way out, and they said, did you check out the tasting room? And I did not. So I will take a look. Oh, this is nice. Nice. Got like their own little Instagram wall here, tasting. I need this bar at my place. I wonder how they did it. Is this just a, oh, it's a regular bar. Nice. Very cool place. I think this place is going to do extremely well. It's it's in a great spot on Germantown. So, all right, go ahead and give them a try.